Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Episode 5, episode 5 of the Sharp Shooters Podcast. I am your humble and gracious host, Mr. B Sharp. And you know I got my guys in here with me. And it's about to start off a little ugly at first. You about to bring them on in here. Oh, Lord, y'all see the mess. See the mess. The man was acting a fool before we even started. I said, man, let me just go ahead and get started. That's an ugly dog. <laughs> bro, bro, what happened, bro? Oh, he on, he on mute. He on mute. I mean, we can skip it. We ain't got to talk about hey, it. Man, hey, man, look, he man. Away, man. Yeah, he, he ain't want to say, he, he, oh, yeah, he's still he on mute. mute. He, he, he don't, don't want to talk mute. about it. I don't skip it. I mean, <laughs> it was nothing. You talking. Yeah. What about the other college football recap? I got uh, you. Uh, I, 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 hey, listen. Them ugly uh, dogs beat them cats. Hey, you already know. Ooh, the ugly dogs beat them cats. What's y'all record? So we done lost two games. We lost against Southern. Uh, oh, y'all can only be up on D2 school. Oh, they, got lost it. The they lost the Vandy. Uh, yeah. Well, they gave Vandy uh, a run for their money for a minute. Yeah, we did, but sure, they lost. But nah, Tuskegee used to be a powerhouse. Used to be. It, it, it's coming back. Used hey, to man. be. Hey, hey, this is our first loss of the year, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know. And who gave it to y'all? I know. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, much respect. Hey, I give y'all what y'all, you know, y'all, y'all won y'all homecoming game like y'all supposed to do. Y'all supposed hey, to win hey, that game. Hey we, hey, we had to recover from last year. Last year, Jackson State whooped. What what on us, boy? Who uh y'all went to the game? Yeah. Yeah, how was the atmosphere? How was the game? Like, how was it? Because they didn't show uh, it on TV. It was like the game a game was game. crazy, bro. I ain't gonna cap. It was uh I was actually on the sideline with Tuskegee uh on the field, dapping up the players and everything. It was crazy, man. Like uh well, we can say it now. Man, come up here to the game. Hey, huh? you, you say he was dapping up the players. Man, yeah, I got it all on tape, man. I mean, I was, I was, I was dapping up the players, man. We was all getting turned up, man, and, and lit on the side. I felt like Gilly the kid, man. You know, we talking, we, I was like the kid. Stuck out. in the game, and them sending him the bill. <laughs> man I ain't paid for it. Hey, man. Hey, look, hey. I ain't never I ain't never wanna be on the uh look, 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 man. I'm gonna say this. Last time I seen my team get beat from the sideline like that, man. That that was high school, bro. <laughs> man, I, I I purposely wore this hat, Quinn. I just want I want you to understand. Hey, it, it's all right, you know. You know where the whole team at, man. Act like you know something, man. Hey, bro. yeah, we it's still skiggy forever, bro. Don't get it messed up. I mean, I, I still rub skiggy too when it's skiggy homecoming, <laughs> but when it ain't no homecoming, you already know. Hey, I'm, just, man, I'm gonna say this that was the biggest yeah. shocker, bro. I nobody saw that coming, bro. Like, that I saw that coming. I told you, 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 I three. That's you ain't seen hey, no. Hey, you ain't y'all seen y'all no. Seen no three days, three. Now you hey, can't. Y'all was doing all that talking. Y'all was doing all that talking. Ski is gonna win. <laughs> all right, Ski gonna win. And if, if Ski win, y'all, you got you gotta sing ball and parlay. You knew it wasn't gonna be no blowout, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hey man, look well, what ha- what happened in the game? Like like what made the man, ain't nobody really ain't nobody really watched that they game. They scored man. the field goal, and then after that, after the field field goal, goal, it was game over. Yeah, yeah. We lost. Man. They scored over. the field goal, yeah. and after that, it was the secondary. Around. The secondary wasn't doing their job, bro. Hey, bombing them, bombing them every and play, I play, play, bro. So every play. Play, bro. I was like, bro, I walked yeah, in the game. It was it was seven three. And then time I was like sitting down, like, all right, man, she was really let go. I'm like, all right, punt, then they scold, punt, then they scold. But the thing <laughs> was, bro, like, bro, these dudes are bombing the, just bombing the ball like every play. Like, bro, you know how much respect that means? Like, bro, I was so pissed, bro. And then the one thing that I hated the most 
is that uh and then was acting like uh folks just won at the game, like Skeeky won at the game for two reasons, bro. One, most of them, a lot of them folks were stuck in traffic. Mm. Yeah. That, that was for one. Or they were tailgating. They were tailgating. They were tailgating. And then if you was in them stand, bro, it was so hot on that side, boy. Hey, look, I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing about AM. They they stadium disrespectful, bro. Really disrespectful. Like we got a little shade on the home side. But over there, you scorching. You you hot. Man, but they were trying to act like they were trying to act like all them tickets were sold out on the uh, Skiggy side. They wasn't. Yeah, they, they want sold more tickets at the game, man, on the Skiggy side. But they ain't one of them fans in the look. When I got to the game, there why. were no tickets being sold. That's why I got in just off of merit. You know, I told them, hmm. "Hey, man, I'm the man. You yeah. already know what it is, man." Hey, Move you out snuck the way, in the security. game. Tell the truth. You know, you tell the truth, Brisky. I told y'all the night before I was going to get that game. He said it. He and said I was going to get on the field. He said everything that he, I confirmed you did say all that. You a legend. And that's why I was laughing so hard. I confirmed everything that you are saying, <laughs> sir, because you did say that. No. I got on that field. That's why he I, was so amped. So I ain't going to lie, man. I, I snuck in the game, too. I ain't pay. I ain't gonna lie. I, I mean, what? Yeah. But what you want to do? The worst part about it, dog. I paid for the tickets, and then when I uh trying to show the woman the um the uh, barcode on the phone, yeah, she just just glanced at, oh, just come on, just come on. Man, I was trying to send. I was trying to uh send. Hey, man, you need a ticket. You need a ticket. I'm trying to sell a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what? A re reason why a lot of skeeky people then got down show up in the stands, bro. Because y'all ain't y'all weren't gonna do nothing but leave right back out, just like I did halftime. Halftime, that stadium went from this to this. <laughs> I said, God leave. Nah, hey, I, 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 I went to tailgate, it was like, well, this game about over with. Well, I'm going back to the tailgate, man. And I and I got it. I had to get off the field, bro. Ain't good. And it was a lot of green in there, if you know what I mean. Not from me, but from some folks. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna lie, I, I brought something from Colorado, so I see you already know. Yeah, man. He, he, he got a little bit of 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 a little bit you guys got to win, but definitely appreciate a good, good time up there. Had a great time up there. Real good time at the tailgate, man. Real fun, it, man. Didn't get didn't get to see everybody because the service was off out there. I think for everybody, because I like tried that to you all coming. Through. But we are. Oh, I'm gonna say this, and then we're gonna get the show really started because we're a little we're a little behind tonight. For Skiggy Homecoming, we're getting walkie talkies. Because one, I'm not about to call. <laughs> and this wasn't my idea. I think it was Calvin or Mike's idea. Shout out to both of them. Cause that was the smartest thing I heard. Somebody hit food like bloop, bloop. hey cuz we over here. <laughs> Cause I ain't got time to be trying to call folks and can't reach. I'm getting a walkie talkie, my my guy. Like for real. Yeah. Like for real. Walkie what talkie did I say? Game. I thought I said walkie talkie. I said I'm getting one too. Oh, okay. I thought I said something. Yeah, like down. yeah, it's definitely going down with that. But outside of that, gentlemen, you already know. Week five reactions. We pretty much was talking about what we uh mainly want to talk about. The man. Oh, one more thing on the game. Me and the Haven are supposed to wear some, some dirty pair of Don't, I, 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 I. Don't say that. Alabama AM shirts or hat or whatever. We supposed to get some gear. So it ain't on this one because uh it was too much going on. But by next week, so, we'll both have it on the whole I, show. The whole I ain't gonna show. lie. I ain't gonna lie. Since the score was 53, y'all need a whole track suit. <laughs> 53, that, that was embarrassing, boy. Man, whatever, man. <laughs> so, college football had some great games this 
this week, but I think it's going to be much better. Uh, this we had Colorado and uh, USC, which I think is kind of bad for us, most of us this week, because we was at, uh, of course, homecoming. We rarely caught anything, for real, but just caught like a few highlights to certain things. But from that USC and Colorado game, you know, like, of course, I expected them to be down. But to see them come back was very, very epic. So very shout out for timing them. What, y'all, what was y'all uh, other games or y'all want to talk about that game? With us? I was shocked that uh, the game was so close. Very. So. I thought it was going to be a blowout. Uh, yeah. No, nah, I didn't yeah. think it was going to be a blowout. I uh, – I knew USC's defense had been suspect. Um, I just felt like if Colorado could keep it close to like the end of the game, they may be able to sneak out with something. Um, I didn't expect Caleb to make any mistakes, and he didn't. Um, You you just think about it. Colorado. Huh? I think he threw his first pick of the season. Yeah, but still, he didn't make any mistakes that cost the game. You know what I mean? Like, when you take chances, like, they take down the field, you know, a a quarterback bounced on interception or an incomplete pass, but he didn't do anything that caused the game to swing, like, in someone else's favor. I just – I felt like Colorado would have a chance, and they had it. They had it. Had they been able to put points on the board early, um, this could have been a different game. It could have been a different game, and had they won, I wonder what it would have done to the college football landscape. I mean, he's already shaking it up as it is, but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. What y'all man. think? Man, that was a crazy thing, man. Because I was like, uh, they were saying something about uh, they was taking too long. Now I say, sorry y'all for being unprepared on this game, but uh, they said they were moving the ball slow or something. Said they could have had maybe a little time for a final drive, but they wasted it because of how they were moving slow and whatnot. But I was like, man, I didn't even expect them to uh, do much in that game. But I figured if they did get the ball back, like I was saying uh, with, like, other games in the past, if they went down and scored, they were going for two. It wasn't no overtime. They knew what type of game that was for them being the underdog. When you the underdog, nobody gonna fault you for going for two. You just go in there and try to take take the game and go home. That's it. And, and I think they same, get it. And that was the same thing it. with that. Uh, now one game I did catch at the game, uh, tail game was that Georgia and uh, Auburn game, and it oh. played out exactly. Oh. I don't say I knew what was going to happen. I just said. If Auburn can get them to the fourth quarter and it's a tight game, Auburn mm-hmm. got exactly what they want. <laughs> but it was just like they just forgot how to play defense. <laughs> they did. They did at the end. They really did, bro. For them they, had up, them. they had them up. Because the score was what? 20, 20 to what? It was 20 to 14, wasn't it? Yeah, it can't even remember off the top of my head. It was 2014, and then they scored twice, and then came up 27 and 20. I, I would I had them, man, but the game, I, I ain't really catch that game. I saw, like, little highlights of it, but the game that I really caught was that LSU and Ole Miss. That was so bad, bro. That, that was a shootout, boy. They came that out of nowhere bad. just – Hey, I I ain't, I ain't see that coming, man. I put money on that game, bro. Boys. You think so? You think that was you, you you actually surprised by that? It was a shootout, bro. You saw yeah, how it was, it was, was a shootout for real. Yeah, that was, that was kind of nah, bro. Jackson Dart running on everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. Just like oh, all right, all right, whatever, man. Whatever, bro. You ain't got no defense, bro. Look, look. No, that no, what you was you you ain't got no defense from the scope. The touchdown Daniels was putting up in the air. Now that's what what uh shocked me, bro. Yeah. Daniels was tossing them up, bro. 
He was though. He, he was. was tossing them up and he was running them, bro. He like Lamar. Man, man. No defense. Neither one of them have no defense. But Lane Kiffin is a better play caller than um yeah. Brian Kelly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a heartbreaking loss for us. He making uh, really was. That really was. Cause KJ Jefferson and them could have beat LSU last week. And that's why I was like, hey man, they can be on upset alert now. I like y'all keep sleeping on that game. I thought it would be Mississippi State, but I, I was thinking Mississippi State was like uh Mississippi State of old with just passing the ball, but they weren't passing it like that. They were like, oh never mind. This I know I wasn't paying attention to uh Mississippi State like that, but I knew. Oh, uh, old Miss can do that, but shoot, man! It, like I said, man, it was it was a decent amount of games this week for the most part. Yeah, it was, it was. Yeah, but it's it was, I don't know. I think it was like uh one more game. I wanted to uh talk you know, about that. You I know what else I'm I'm looking at? <clears throat> what that? Say it again. No, go ahead. The Kentucky game. I was Kentucky. I was just about to say thank that. You, thank you. That thank was you. the one right there. And Kentucky, Florida. Yeah. How, and, how about that Texas Kansas game? Yeah. That, uh, well, yeah, was I, I, I think so. I think it's time. I've been avoiding it, but I I, I think it's. You think what? I I think it's time we give Kentucky. You know that that due respect. They five and zero. The undefeated. They go against. They they get the respect because um, I you know it all depends on how they play against they, they haven't really they ain't got, well I mean I said the same play. thing when they played Florida I said it depends on how they play against Florida but they I mean they look dominant granted they didn't look that great throwing the ball but they rushed for like almost three for over three hundred oh, yards yeah. they not about to do that <laughs> so we don't see how they do against Georgia bro when you when you running the ball like that bro I you mean don't need I pass the ball. I don't care what you look like. You can just run the ball all day. I mean, that's yeah. If you, why would it, would you say, oh, you can't pass the ball? Why would I pass when I can run this ball down your throat? Pause. But shoot, man, do um, running back Ray Davis. If he does even just half of that against Georgia and Georgia start off slow. Kentucky may just pull that thing off in in uh Athens. Yeah, and that's they go and then hey. they go number one in uh SEC East. Listen, just that's, like you said, weird. just like you said, let's give Kentucky they do respect. We gotta give Penn State they do respect. Shoot. Penn State hey, 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 hot, hey, bro. hot take. I mean, hot I don't like them. But I gotta give them they I gotta give them their respect though. Bro, Penn State gonna be Penn State, bro. They always fold when it's time, bro. I think they're they gonna make it to their final photo. Hey, look, all that sound cute, but y'all need to give Texas their respect. Brinsky, you was just up here talking about Kansas was gonna beat Texas. I don't want to hear that. We are five I, and I, I, bro, bro, I just believe y'all just gonna fumble <laughs> like y'all always do, bro. Like they always do. do. Okay, all right. I ain't gonna say like they always do, but like they always do. They they do. They do. That's why y'all don't have that men national championship because y'all always find a way. This is hate right here. This is hate right here. Nah, you can't even blame it. You can't even call it. You just like the cowboy boy. You just that's cap. That's cap. When it's time, they gonna fold. That's cap. It's it's just a matter of time. They, lose, just, they lose one national championship to Alabama, and now it's the uh, old Texas fault every time. What have they done? What have they done the last decade? Hey, look, y'all have ran everything the last decade. But what have they done? What has the anybody done? In the what have they decade? done in the Big Twelve? What has anybody done in the last? No, decade? what have they done what has in the Big Twelve? Anybody done in the last decade if it ain't Alabama? Is that look? You can bring any any team into this. They did right? better than y'all. You sit up there and make it seem decade. like Alabama Oklahoma State, State did better than y'all in that decade. It don't matter what you saying right now, bro. Listen to what I'm saying. Alabama ain't no team did better than Alabama in the past decade. 
Well, that's duh, that. but I so didn't you, say that. No, that's going to be your argument. argument. That's going to be your argument. No, I, I didn't make that argument. I know nobody ain't yeah, nobody argue with him when it comes to this. Uh, this like this I said, I is. said, what have y'all done nobody in the Big Twelve? With him on this topic. I and just said, what have they done in the Big Twelve? What has anybody done? I'll in the Big that. 12, there's been a lot of teams that I done something in the Big 12. I said in their conference alone, ain't got to do with no college football playoffs and nothing. Hey, I'm look, just literally what, just talking about What y'all going to do when we get to the SEC? How about that? We going to do the same thing we've been doing. What y'all going to do? We going to do the same thing we've been doing. All right. Like I said. It sound nice, bro. I thought you can't answer the question. It sound nice, bro. It sound nice, bro. Are you going to answer the question or are we going to move like on? It like it sounded nice when y'all thought y'all was going to beat us this year. I told you, bro. I think we're going to beat everybody. Bro. We can't win them all. You got us. Who beat play, bro? Hey, I, I told put, you, man. I put, I put it like this. I put it like this. I can guarantee you this. It's, it don't fare well when, when teams play Nick Saban twice. And it don't fare well when they play them twice in the same year. So we I'm make gonna, it to the game for the playoffs. I, got, we, hey, you know, I will put all my money on Alabama. And it's I will be so I will hard right for y'all, bro. It's going to be, hey, hey, when Texas get to the SEC. Hey, well, that, hey Caleb, it's going to be like a, up, the whole SEC is going to explode. It's going to tear it up. No, no y'all can't even do this in the Big 12, bro. I'm not worried. No way, bro. Hey, hey, y'all ain't, hey, look, y'all been dominating with no. With, 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 with no real, real, real competition, man. Texas coming. What y'all think about um coming to Texas? All, all the <laughs> hey, all the all the recruits is staying in state. It's over with. Yeah, it's over crazy. with. You talking what y'all think money. about Missouri? Walk my words. I'm calling it right now. Just like I called that game. Missouri, yeah. Missouri and Vanderbilt. They got to show. They just like Kentucky, bro. Still got to show me something. They got to show you. You see, it, it, like, bro, you ain't playing nobody early, bro. It's only gonna show. Now I say it's only a matter of time. Now <laughs> I say it'll make it. I about to say it, it'll help Georgia fans because they'll think they like, man, we play in Missouri. They were undefeated. <laughs> like, come on, bro, you playing Missouri, bro? Let let be for real now. But hey, man, we we seen some good games, but this week. We got some great games on the way. Got some, we got that that old Red River rivalry. Oh, Good yeah. old Texas State fell. Oklahoma versus the Texas Longhorns. It's over with. Who you, you got over. winning? Who you got winning? I, I'm going to tell you right now. You got Oklahoma. No, 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 no. It's only I, I no no no. I'm gonna put it for both teams. If Quinn Ewers can get off get off uh like he uh got off against uh Baylor and uh Kansas, they're gonna win. Because I don't think Oklahoma defense is right there yet. Because nah. Brent Venable uh building up his defense uh like how he had at Clemson being a uh defensive coordinator, but they start slow. I'm going to tell you right now. Dylan Gabriel has been mm. waiting in the winds. It's like one of the dark horses for the Heisman. He's, I'm telling you, if they start, Tessa starts slow, and Oklahoma get the lead, I don't think uh, Tess is going to uh, win the game. So it all depends on those two. I know they ain't really like. They ain't answering the question for that, but that's literally like for both teams, and it's really based on the quarterbacks. Which quarterback gonna do what? Don't sleep on the run game. Hey, yeah, te- y- yeah but bro, y'all play Kansas. There ain't nobody like. Hey, Texas, Texas coming out. You said this. Kansas is gonna win. I-, I said they could win if I ain't mistaken. All right. I had them on the parlay sheet, but they disappointed me. <laughs> man, listen, man. Listen, they, gave, man. they had like 17 points, and I was like, shoot. Hey, man. Hey. I, I like Oklahoma, man. That's cool. But in this matchup, it's Texas. It ain't happening, dog. You got Texas, Quint? Yeah, I got Texas, man. Yeah, like you said, man, their defense not. 
They ain't, they ain't all the way ready. Prepare. They're for not it. ready for Texas, dog. Yeah, they're not prepared for Texas. <laughs> you know what? I want Brinsky. I want Brinsky. I'm going Oklahoma all the way. And, and here's why. Like you said, if Texas does have a habit of dropping games, uh, I never know when it's coming, but I think this could be it. If there was a time for them to drop a game, this is the game. And I think the quarterback at Texas gets off to the slow start. And I think uh, Gabriel and Farouk don't. I think they connect early. They connect quick. I think the run game comes back around. And um, I think Texas plays from behind, makes some crucial mistakes, and Oklahoma wins it by touchdown. I think you guys are highly mistaken. (laughs) (laughs) It, oh my god. It can, well, it, it, can it can happen. It can happen. I mean, like there was a recipe, like we said the first game, there was a recipe for beating Alabama. There's a recipe for beating Texas. If you can match if you can match their offensive power, you can you can you can get you can stay around and win a game. And I think Oklahoma can do it. They can win they can win this game. I don't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Just because, I don't see it, man. At what at what level? Now the defense the defense for Oklahoma is vulnerable, but like I said, and that's I think be, they I think they get up for this game. I think they get up and I think they rise to the occasion for this game. But just like you said, it's a recipe for Texas, it's a recipe for Oklahoma, man. Oklahoma Oklahoma defense will be compromised. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Will be compromised. Texas got yeah, a better know. defense, man. It's just facts. You don't see you were throwing the uh interception this game? Nah. You nah, don't see man. him throwing it. I think he, 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 he might only got one. one pick on the season. He might throw one. I think he I think he throw one this game. You has only got one pick on the season. Yeah, Gabriel, yeah for sure. Gabriel got two. Oh, for sure, oh, he's solid. One. He solid. Yeah, yeah, he got it. He got a second one last week. Nah, uh, you were solid. But I, I just think this is a game that has so many implications for it that they choke under the pressure. I think this game, Texas choked under the pressure. They choke. They start off slow. We and have a better running gonna... game, though, man. Like, Y'all man, do. what are they going to do? It's what are they going to do with Texas running game, man? Look, Brooks just, uh, I think Brooks just broke a record. He's like top five, like, all time, like 200. I think it's like a uh, like out of like all like in the history of Longhorns running backs. Um, it's mm. only been five running backs to like break 200 yards in the game. He's the fifth behind Ricky Williams, Earl Campbell, and uh, I'm missing one other great man. Yeah, Cedric I Green. mean, that's also a product of like their passing <coughs> game too. People having to like really look up for the pass. It's probably Jamal but, Charles. But at the same time, I think I think like I said, I think Texas scores. I just think they get off to a slower start. I think the quarterback makes a mistake, and I think I Oklahoma it. capitalizes. I'm telling you, he, I'm he I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you who's the pressure on. Brandon Thompson is not about to have a good game. You think so? Yeah, I think so. He's not about to have a good game against Texas, bro. Why? Yeah. Why you say that? I just think I think Texas got the got a better edge over Oklahoma just because Texas. I ain't gonna lie, Texas has been the overall complete team this year. They have better team than shit years before. I just feel like they got a little bit more in their package as opposed to Oklahoma as far as the skill set goes. And then, like I said, the defense is definitely going to get compromised. But Quentin, I, don't, I don't see Quentin – I don't see I don't see him having a bad game, man. I think he's going to come off with a, with a hot start, especially no. against Oklahoma. When you can pass and run – Huh? What we got you for the pass week. and you can run. Well, we, we it's doing hard to top that. When y'all lose, we doing more shots. Yeah, I'll do a shot. There you I'll go. Do a shot. 
There you go. Dave, you got to take two because you're from there. <laughs> All right, man. Let me see what I got in here. I don't even got anything. Yeah, two tiger shot. We'll see. Hey, and and then this but week, you got to take one today. Go, 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 get a bottle, go get a bottle this week. Hey, man, man. I ain't never met a turtle with no liquor, bro. What you talking about, bro? Oh, I got something, man. I got something. <laughs> <laughs> what, y'all, what y'all think about uh, Kentucky, Georgia coming up next week? What? What y'all think about Kentucky, Georgia coming up next week? I think UGA all the way. Shout out mm. to my UGA fam because I've been out here in Georgia. They down there adopted me. I'm out here in Atlanta. I think UGA gonna take it, man. I like Stetson Bennett last year. He gone now, so they got this new uh, this new cat. He seems very composed. I watched him last week. He did his thing. Man. I got nothing negative to say about UGA, man. I think UGA gonna gonna show Kentucky out, man. They gonna wear them boys out. I ain't gonna lie. I think I think Kentucky gonna give them a run for their money, though. They, they they a progressive team this year. Um, offense is looking really good. Defense, everybody defense man. Everybody yeah. got spotty defenses right yeah. now. It's just right. like they just let the ball go up in the air. Right, like a right. Game. But some more than others, and I think I think that that's Kentucky. <laughs> but um. I think Georgia gonna pull off the win. It's gonna be a close win. I can see them winning by, you know, a score or maybe a field goal. Hey man, can't bet against Georgia right now, man. I, I can't, but at the same Mark time, Bowers is a beast, bro. Like, the way Kentucky is playing, man, it, it's it's arguable. We gonna see. We definitely. No, gonna I don't see. know. I don't know. I I don't think uh I don't think I don't think Kentucky has the firepower. I I I don't think they have the firepower. I and you know what I I like what they built on from last year, um, but I don't think they have the firepower to match it with Georgia. And I think not to beat ready, man. to beat Kentucky Georgia, is not ready for Georgia, man. To beat Georgia, you need you need to be able to put points on the board in a big way. I think that's what you have to do. How are you gonna stop Brock Bowers? Explain that. Kentucky's not ready. You can't, you can't stop him. You can contain him. So I think I think anybody can be beat on any given Sunday. He ain't lying. But this right. is- hey, look, Kentucky ain't got the quarterback play. And, yeah, they're not ready. Yeah. Their quarterback is going yeah. to look like a fool in front of Georgia's defense, man. Yeah. That's what white man once said, man. The game will need to be played. Well, yeah, yeah, I just added the will, but it needs to be played. Lucky QB not ready, bro. He throws just – look, look, look. He got yeah. 10 TDs and 5 INTs on the season, bro. His QB on yeah. 47 sticks, boy. I know. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. never really had strong QB He's players. not ready. Uh, who was the QB last year? Will Levis? I, I never really liked yeah. him too much either. I, I I did, I, yeah, he was average. Nah, he wasn't really – he ain't even average for real. But hey, this we, kid is worse. We got <laughs> – oh, we got a sleeper game. It could go one way. It all depends on how Ohio, Ohio State play. We got Maryland versus Ohio State. Oh, that's that's going to be a, a casket, boy. <laughs> Ohio State, like, sweet. Maryland 5-0, and oh, man. I don't care. That about to be a sweep right there, bro. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Games need the to be sli- the, sli- the sleeper. I mean, they got two a little brother out there, man. Man, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Ah, he, he ain't to it. He ain't to it. He ain't to it. What the about Bama? Right, we got Bama going down to good old college station. Most- nah. You said what? We got Bama going down to college station. Oh, you know they're gonna try to. You know they're gonna try to play hard. And we everybody Super Bowl, so I, I don't, I don't respect hey, that. The sleeper game is LSU and Missouri. That's the sleeper game. Wait, 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 wait. Don't y'all try, try to jump over that, that Alabama-Texas A&M game. Listen, y'all. 
Y'all better be ready for another upset. No, man. No. Be ready for another You said that about Ole Miss, too. You know that, right? You know you said that about Ole Miss, too. Just wait. You know you said that about Ole Miss, too, sir. Just wait. Hey, hey, just for that, you're going to have to take another shot for that. Yeah, you're going to be a whole shot. Man, that man drinking water, man. Drinking water. Wait. Just wait. Okay. Mark my words. The prophet has spoken. It's okay. Over. Hey, well, listen. That same prophet said old hey. men was gonna beat us. Hey, listen, bro. I didn't want to keep that. I, I told you Texas was gonna win, and Texas and them gonna win too. And you say old miss too. Hey, listen, bro. Y'all <laughs> winning this game, bro. Man, whatever. We moving Y'all on. Not winning this game, bro. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, hold on. Well, I had some uh Better technical difficulties. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I had some technical difficulties. I don't know if the stream was still going on for y'all. Yeah, it was. Okay, if it was, shout out to y'all for being great professionals and keep <laughs> going because I I looked up and my screen was just completely froze and I was like Man, I don't want to uh, start this back over or whatnot. Or we just had to, I have to edit out that part or whatnot. But moving on, NFL week four reactions. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Sharpshooters podcast history, I have tallied up the W's before the there pod. You go. So there you go. We get 1% better every day, ladies and gentlemen. 1% better every day. And somebody got to take a shot because y'all know the rule. You got to go over 10 wins to not take one. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Haven doesn't have to take one. He had the best one. Out of 16 games, he got 14 right. Congratulations, sir. All right, just like I taught you. So that only leaves <laughs> Mr. Tuskegee <laughs> or Mr. Alabama A and M. You see it. The final oh, tally is out of sixteen games, I had twelve. Whew. And Quint had nine. God dang. Nine one game <laughs> short, and you know what the game? What it, I it was the Colts. It was the Colts, and it was the Colts. I, uh, was I almost said, "Boy, you want to drink, boy?" It was the bro. haven of me that said, "Boy, you want to drink?" <laughs> but we almost <laughs> won that, man. I know, so, man, sir. Man. Hey, go, go find your shot. Go get you a bottle or whatnot. We go. We gonna talk about these reactions and all that because I was ready. I thought. I thought I had it. They had to take a little shotty shot, but new, new, new. But we uh four reactions, man. Clearly, uh, one of the standout games that I seen that was surprisingly got good was that uh Broncos and Bears game, the toilet bowl of all toilet bowls. And they let them boys come back to win. And let them come all the way back to win. <laughs> and they trying to put it on Justin Fields, but folks, like NFL experts, literally just like, no. This ain't got nothing to do with Justin Fields, bro. Because I believe Justin Fields is a good quarterback. He just doesn't have nothing around him. Nothing. No offensive nothing. line. No running back. No receiver. Only receiver he got is DJ Moore. And all they've been doing is double teaming DJ Moore. He's that Claypool. Bro, Claypool hasn't done nothing. And yeah, even if, bro, the man got to run. Nope, nope. He had drink, drink, drink. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I think that water, man. This time, I need you to have a bottle right there. You know, oh, I, no, I, ain't say, I ain't say the shot glass. I said the bottle. You know what it is. You know what time it is. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that green stuff, sir. We don't do that on here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, man, the dude is a 
great quarterback, man. And what I didn't know, I, well, I forgot that uh, Charlotte, tra- well, Chicago currently has the top two picks in the NFL draft. And they talking about, if I'm Chicago, like, I am whoever the head coach is right now, firing him. I'm hiring Eric B. Enemy. I'm sending him a blank check. Mm-hmm. I am. They got defensive players on their squad that are good. Are you talking about Chicago? Yeah, with like Eddie Jackson and Tremaine yeah. Edmonds. They got like certain guys. Like you keep those guys, but you draft. Like you use that first overall pick. You know, some you got your quarterback in Justin Fields. Now, if you want to move on from Justin Fields, you can still get pits off that too. They need to fire that defensive coach. That too. And but you got the top two pits. Whoever you get, you can use one of those pits and trade away and get more pits and just start building that way. Because well, you don't need the first two pits in the draft. Unless you want to uh, draft Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison at the same time, or just draft Marvin mm-hmm. Harrison, or if you do draft Caleb Williams, you do want to give him a weapon. So it all depends, man. But that was one of the games that stood out. What was some for y'all? The Colts. Shoot. The Colts stood out to me. Man, we went in the OT, man, with the Rams, bro. 23 23. OT, man. One thing that's standing out with me with them uh guys, um, really is just uh, and I didn't mean to cut you off, my fault. Nah, go it's ahead. Like, uh, uh, is Anthony Richardson is playing? It's showing, bro. Like having great coaching <laughs> would do for you. Yeah, because I'm talking that. about another team yeah. that is clearly. Uh, definitely with uh, CJ Stroud and them. That shows you what great yeah. coaching and great po- having decent players around you would do. But I mean, yeah, we, Anthony Richardson is Anthony definitely Richardson. playing way better than I expected. Because we so, got the offensive coordinator for the Eagles. Exactly. The That's what I'm so, saying. Yeah, you already know. We in that he threw. What, and then y'all 11, already got 11, 20, uh, 11 for 25, 200 yards. Man, he, he did good, man. That with, game. Uh, with uh, Quinn Williams, not Quinn Williams. Uh, Quinn Nelson and yeah. Ryan Kelly. Y'all got y'all got a deep uh deep uh what well, I'm saying decent a good offensive line offensive line uh, yeah. a, a good defense mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying bro it's all about that structure bro yeah but man great coaching to that that makes it better yeah man but I don't know why it's crazy man we should have came out of that we we tied the game bro we we should have came out of that. But it is what it is. One one game that got me was uh the Jets versus Chiefs. Oh yeah. And you hey, know what? Zach was playing like Aaron Rodgers, boy. <laughs> uh, uh, that might be a stretch, but he he did you know what this is the best game by far this is the best game of his NFL career. And you know what? I was listening to like some of the um commentators. And when I when I started looking back at some of that past games, it made a little sense. Like if they have been telling Zach Wilson, like, hey, here's the strategy. We are going to try to use our defense, use our running game, and you just don't turn the ball over, and we'll try to win games that way. If they've been handcuffing him to do that, then I can see why he's been like kind of playing so timid. But this game, he I felt like he was more free. They opened the playbook to him, to his skill set. They let him go on a few runs. He had some back shoulder throws that were pretty good. Mm-hmm. If they can play this way and he can just give them at least two touchdowns, they can at least make the playoffs. One of the big things, though, that got That's to me stretch. besides his play. Now, they can make the playoffs. Nah. One thing that got to me beside his play was the game. Like, I don't – I'm not a conspiracy theorist as far as, like, you know, them scripting these games and the Vegas odds. Uh-huh. But usually Kansas City is, like, an eight-point – like, an eight-point favorite 
for the game in Vegas. So usually if you bet over, that means you're betting Kansas City scores about 40 points, which isn't realistic. But this game for the over, since the Jets really don't score, you're betting like Kansas City to score 27, 28, 30 points, which is very much realistic. On the final play of the game, Patrick Mahomes runs to the one-yard line and just falls down and ends the game right there. Instead of scoring. Instead of scoring. Looking at the end zone with no one Mm -hmm. around him. Right. Stopping the game at 23-20. He could have easily went in. The only thing I'll say about that, the – Yes, I, I ain't disagreeing with what you're saying, but I know in a lot of ways when teams do score, I don't know why they feel that way because as a fantasy football owner of uh, the sharpshooters, we're currently two and two. We just took an ass whooping. But um, as a fan, fantasy owner, bro, you want him to uh, score to get the points. But as a fan, I don't know, bro. Like if you score, then you up two still. But that happened like in the um, the Cleveland Browns. Who did they play last year? And they came back like really, really quickly off of them scoring quickly. I can't remember who they played, but teams like fear that for some odd reason. I don't know why. I think it's stupid. I just say play good defense. I'm like, you're up two touchdowns. But I guess they just try to run out the clock. The problem I had with the game is like, bro, the officiating was just, it was just, it was just bad, man. I don't, the one on terrible. sauce, the one on sauce was bad for multiple reasons. Because usually, when you are, when you're a cornerback, bro, you get five yards to do what you want to bump and run or whatnot, and it looked like. It looked like he grabbed him, but I'm like, he didn't grab him. Oh, well, and I felt like that. You should have just let him play that through. And then on one of those, I think on the final drive uh, with Pat Mahomes, because, I mean, I just get some with uh, Sauce. On that same play, they got an intercept, but they got that flag, and that messed up the whole interception. And then on the uh, same uh, – on that last drive, guys clearly holding the Jets play. I'm talking about yeah. damn near cuddling with the man. Yeah. And they, and Pat Mahomes had all that time back there and just took off running. I'm like – he said the sideline side uh, judge is supposed to be the one watching for those type of uh, plays. And I'm like, I don't know how he didn't see it. Cause that was blatant. So We're trying to make sure they don't cover the spread, bro. Yeah. Hey. Now I say I went put that no ball. Ball. Cause I'm a better, yeah. so yeah. I I'll go in with any excuse of why I didn't win my parlay. So hey, it's all good. Hey, I do got one thing to tell y'all, boy. JT about to come back to the Colts. JT playing. This week, no, he not. He, he don't that's play. cool, bro. That's good. You know, he's gonna run the AFC stop, though. Is this breaking news? It's breaking news. Hey, well, sir, it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna man, happen. He, he, he trying to leave. Pay that he suit, man. Hey, he's suiting up tomorrow. Pay that man then. For what, though? He's suiting up tomorrow. How about them Texans, bro? Hey, y'all did good. Oh, yeah. Y'all did y'all thing. And, and that was another one. I'm glad you brought that up, man. And this is why, bro, I am very, very big on. I, one thing I hate, and it, like, it really bothers me with certain people because I just really feel like they don't know nothing about football, is when, like, your rookie year, I give dude at least four years to show me what they can do, four years with anything, coaching or whatever. Uh-huh. And CJ Stroud was like uh playing bad in the preseason. I'm like, bro, it's the preseason. The man uh-huh. probably nervous or whatnot. It probably would be like how things are. I don't know, man. You just gotta let the man get coming. And even with right now, he's playing great football, not turned over the ball and everything. 
even with all that being said, I still just like, let's pump our brakes. It's only four games. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon because mm-hmm. I literally will see how quickly, I guarantee you, if he come out and play bad the very next week, they, they'll stop talking about this real quickly. So, man, you got to let top guys grow. But he's definitely playing awesome right now. And his are. Yeah. I already knew the defense was going to be good because you got D'Amico Ryan, and D'Amico yeah. Ryan is a defensive guru in my eyes. And you got Will Anderson and those guys on the line. You got uh, Sting, Darren Stingley playing yeah. quarterback or whatnot. And I didn't, I didn't, and even surprisingly, not not even surprisingly, but Christian Harris that played at Alabama, playing that middle linebacker very, very well right now. So I'm yeah, loving I mean, you guys. Defense. They, Tank, they, you they, know, man. They said the same thing. Going off. Yeah. Yeah, Tank Dale. Tank Dale. Nico Collins went off this past week. He did. He did. We got Damian Pierce coming out of nowhere, guy balling. Damian Pierce coming back this year. You said who? Damian Pierce. Yep. Damian Pierce went off. He did. So that thing. But it's a lot of them called that 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 first drive. That's the only one I get. Like, bro, they kept throwing them penalties, and I think that set the tone for the game. And I was just like, uh, a lot of them they could have held back, but yeah, it wasn't no here, no there. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys are playing great right now on two games, but uh-huh. I felt like everybody got what they wanted or whatnot, like quarterback wise. The only thing I hate that Anthony Richardson and uh, CJ and great system, Bryce is just not in that. Same system, so he's he, definitely he, not. Yeah, he's not. Right. He don't have the same the same system as they do. Because a horrible situation, to be because honest. Literally, your coach last year for the coach, Frank Wright, literally I, just I, got you fired. See why, you see why we let him go? And you see why y'all had a number uh three pick? I think y'all had number three pick, or y'all? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. number three pick, and y'all gonna fire man. And hire him with the Panthers. I rather Steve Wilkes kept the job, but that was literally you had the opportunity to go get Airbnb. Enemy. And I have to say this right now before I uh mount Airbnb Enemy this year. If we do not hire him, if we don't get rid of Ron Rivera and hire Airbnb Enemy as a head coach, Airbnb Enemy is going to be a head coach. He's He's going gonna to have to Huh? You're gonna be head coach next year. Watch. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. truly believe that's about to happen because it's only showing. Like, bro, we were so time the time. on offense, and he's just yeah. making he making Sam Howell look good, look great <laughs> for real. So I, I imagine wish. if we get. And that's why I say you would be crazy to let that man walk out the door and yeah. go to somebody. If he go to somebody like Justin Fields, that would be the best thing. So, in my heart to heart. We trade to go get Justin Fields, bring him to Washington or something like that. That's not happening. But Airbnb enemy is definitely going to be a head coach. Yeah, he is. Uh, so, so you think Bryce is in the wrong uh, situation? Yeah, he in the wrong They have no offensive line. Yeah. They have basically no receivers. Because Adam Thiel- if Adam Thielen is pretty much your number one, bro, Adam Thielen is nobody's number one on no NFL team. And Adam Thingley is his number one receiver. Hey, you know, Miles, Sanders, Miles Sanders can't run the ball because he has no line. He had no line to back him the up. The only yeah. good thing about the uh, Panthers right now is their defense. I was watching the yeah. game. I was watching that last game with uh, Bryce. And I'm not even going to lie, man. To be honest, it's it, at certain times he looked like a deer in headlights. Like when he was playing, I was like, "Dang, man, I ain't never seen Bryce like that." In a fail, man. It's they let game. Andy Dalton come in and put up points. Like, yeah. it's, right, it's, like right. it's hard to leave from where you was, and then just come in. Like, bro, you're literally on these teams for a reason. 
That's why I like, bro, you don't just come out the gate just doing things. Bro, Peyton Manning threw 30 interceptions his first year and folks there thought he was going to be a bust. His right. first season, Peyton Manning is considered, if not top five, top three greatest quarterbacks to ever play this game. Yeah. You got to let people grow. Folks, and this is and this is why I say that stuff would change very quickly. But is he when, Dak and Zeke, when Dak and Zeke came into the league, yeah, and they were setting the league on fire, that one offensive player of the year. People do not look at that the same way that they looked at him that year. No, absolutely not. That, that stuff don't mean nothing. But you gotta bro. think about it. He he had he had an injury. That injury did a lot to him. Yeah, you could tell. But, but you still were looking at that that way. But yeah, I agree. Yeah, that injury did a lot to him. But I, I'm just saying, like, yeah, you got to give people room to grow. I don't see Bright. I don't see Rice growing in that organization, unless they unless they make some significant changes. And that's why I said you got to get the right coach around you. You, you see how you it see Bryce out rushing with, with the Jets, the, the, huh? He's, could you see him flourishing with the Jets? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see him. Yeah, a little bit better with the Jets. Than I guarantee do. you, yeah. if he was traded to the Jets today, Zach Wilson would be on the bench in a heartbeat. Yeah, hmm. and I can play. guarantee you, all those guys that play on play on the Jets that play defense, they'll be like, "Thank you," because he has a like, great coaching like yeah. matter. And then he has a target. He has a target now. He'll have Gary Wilson if he were to go to the Jets. Cause he, what you say? He got Thielen as number one. Number one. Yeah. Dude, if he went, if he went to Atlanta, to be honest, yeah. they it, trying to yeah. say if Justin Fields yeah. went to Atlanta, I believe Justin Fields will be thriving in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. for sure. This yeah. weapon because it's they, like, bro, you have. Um, I, I I just don't like when guys don't be used the right way, and you know they're great. It's just like Kyle Pitts down there, like, bro, Kyle Pitts. Is Hall of Fame talent is like that generational tight end. I believe he's better than Brock Bowers. I believe just Brock Bowers just a big guy, but Kyle Pitts is like literally Hall of Fame. All you gotta do is just give him the ball, man, and they don't even do that now. They're not utilizing him correctly, man. I got him on my fantasy, and they. It's piss poor performance. That's what they was rumoring him to the uh, Dallas Cowboys. I said they do that. You're gonna see something. They're gonna be extremely dangerous then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, bro, the man is like, you can't, you can't defend him, and he's just big and he can catch, strong, all that. But that's why I'm saying this is when coaching come involved. I like I'm not a good, I, quarterback, man. Huh? You know what? They're missing a good quarterback, man. They don't have a really good quarterback. Man, he, he's just quarterback. talking about Atlanta. Atlanta had oh, Matt man. Ryan. He wasn't even throwing Julio the ball. And I don't know why we picked his ass. I don't know why we did. You know, Matt Ryan good. was mediocre. Huh? Yeah. Matt, Matt Ryan was, was mediocre. Yeah. But guess what? But guess what? You can look on my Facebook throughout the years after that soup, even before that Super Bowl. Matter of fact, we'll just say after the Super Bowl. Before the season even started, I like, bro, Matt Ryan just ain't it, bro, because there ain't no way. It just no way, bro. They, they're they not going back for one. They're like, yeah. man, he was MVP and all that. I'm like, okay, you're going to see, bro. Because I'm yeah. like, bro, Matt Ryan is just not that guy. And it yeah. only just showing where he at now. He well, don't see the rid of the show ain't that guy. They need a quarterback, man. If you have that Hall of Fame talent on your team and you're not using it, I, I can guarantee you if Julio that. was with Aaron Rodgers, them stats would be worse than, I mean, 10 times, not worse. Like, oh, it would be shattering the record books right now. <laughs> yeah. I got a question for y'all. Y'all think Joe Burrow done for the year? He look bad. But his his coach is saying his coach is saying he's not hurt. But I mean, he has. I think I saw something today. He has the some of the worst stats of a starting quarterback in the league this year. So I I I think I think I think it's over for them. If he can't get the rest he needs to heal the calf, it's it's a done deal for them. 
I need to sit him for a while, man. Go on and throw yeah, the whole, uh, AJ the McCarron whole, out there. The whole thing about all this, dog, that what makes me uh like trip out about this. Like when the calf injury was hurt, I remember Jamar Chase saying he needs to just sit down for like four weeks and just yes. let that thing heal. Yes. We'll be all right. Yes. Just for four weeks. And guess what? It's been four weeks. He played all four weeks. Because they, like, they didn't want to go down oh and uh oh and three. They didn't. That's, that's, but guess what? They're down one they they're one and three now. Yeah, but it's not oh and three. But it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. They're doesn't one matter. and three. They should have let that be your race. quarterback is, bro, bro. There's they the could literally, they could have literally won some of those games. They could have beat Tennessee. They, they could have the, beat Tennessee. The mindset. Like, bro, I all they had to do was just down, sit them down for crazy. one game. I mean, sit them down for four weeks. They can at least win two of those games. It, it, it's okay. Trust me. He let they let Derrick Henry score to throw a touchdown pass to that game. All hey, I'm man. saying, man, it ain't, it ain't the first time they, he did it. If they don't give this man the proper rest, the proper time to heal, the season is over. And I, 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 bro, I think is is it's kind of is leaning that way to over right now, only because it's late in the year, and I'm just like, bro, this man still ain't got no rest, nothing, dog. Is it's looking very bad for them right now. Yeah. And it they they just look horrible. And I'm I'm I don't know, man. Joe Joe just need he really need to just sit down. But hey, only time would tell, man. Only time would tell. How about them uh Buffalo Bills though? Ooh, I I was just about yeah. to move on, but I'm glad you said that because I was about to miss it. Yeah. When you literally go Miami Dolphins 70 points. Yeah. Beating the hell out of somebody. And then y'all get your ass beat the very next week. Hey man, by 30. That's crazy, boy. That that's life in the NFL right there. That is wild. I I was like, bro. Josh Allen was just trying to prove something that game, bro. Yeah, man. Man, that's why I got beat in fantasy so bad, bro. I just, I just like Lord have mercy. Dude had Stephon Diggs yep. and Josh Allen. Yep. So man, they went off that that game, man. Too. I don't think they were prepared. I think they were so hyped up off that last game, that seventy, the that seventy, uh, that fifty point lead. Yeah, they didn't prepare for the bills. You could tell. Hey, man, yeah. sometimes, sometimes the team just has your number, man. I, I just think the Bills just have the offensive weapons to really uh, give it to uh, the Dolphins' defense. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people just have your number. You know, NFL not for long, man. You could be on top today. Tomorrow you play someone, have the have a specialty player here and there, change the whole outcome of the game. So hey, one more one more game before we move to the next subject. Bill Belichick, he might well go on here and wrap it up this year. <laughs> I think I think so for his legacy. Hey, yeah. He need to wrap it, it up. Like, bro, your legacy is a minute, bro. I think only reason I think it's time, bro. Is because I'm like, bro, if you ain't gonna put nothing around Matt, bro, he ain't gonna do nothing. Because I'm like, nothing. Because I'm like, bro, if you ask anybody, matter of fact, I'll just ask y'all, do anybody know who their number one receiver is right now? It's a uh, it's it's born, it's, right? It, I don't born, even know. Like, I'm I'm That's what yeah. I'm saying. Did you see you Boy, see how bad that is? Uh, it's Juju, it's Juju Smith Schuster, bro. Bro, if Juju Smith Schuster is your number one, you're gonna lose a lot of games. It's Juju. Oh, it is Juju. Yeah, Juju is Juju the number yeah, one right now. Oh, born, born. It's Juju born. Is like two. Yeah, Juju's too. But I'm saying if Juju Smith Schuster is your number one, bro, you're gonna lose a lot of games. Some guys are not built for that number one. You, got- you cannot have that. Like I said, Bryce Young has Adam Thielen. 
They got Mike Kosecki. I, I, they do have him, but he ain't. Uh, he ain't. Play. Bro. He yeah, play. he ain't. Yeah, he ain't, yeah, it ain't all about them. Bro, yeah. unless you got some good structure around you, bro, I'm like, no. Don't have that. They like, don't have an offensive line. It's they don't. Bad. It's bad. They, they look it's horrible. Bad, he, he need to retire this year. Go I, I want him to retire just for – he not. Uh, he's twenty mile. He he twenty mile wins away from the record. He ain't going nowhere. Well, he not about to reach that twenty nine. <laughs> not, not this he year, but he can reach. It. He can reach in about four or five years. Yeah, four five. At, at the rate he going, probably about six years. <laughs> but once once he once he once he catch it, the only coach that might come close is uh Andy Reid. Yeah, yeah. But who who know how long he got? You know what I mean? Yeah, he ain't got damn too much money either, bro. Yeah, bro. man. I, I think Belichick needs to give it up. Yeah. All of the rap, man. Go on and get it, man. Look, when Brady left, he should have left. He ain't lying. He, he looking horrible right now, man. He looking horrible, man. He should have left when Brady left. He should have known, man. I don't even know what. What do you think he's doing over there with Mac Jones right now, man? Let Mac get developed by some other, other uh, coach because – Back not finna be Tom Brady. Well, y'all already know what time it is, man. Everybody's favorite thing. The prediction for week. And we have 14 games this week, gentlemen. 14. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna bring it down just two games. So you have to win eight games to All not right. take a shot. Eight games, gentlemen. Eight games. So you already know it's good old quick hits with those. Okay. So I hope you heard me, DeHaven. Quick hits. <laughs> so I'm going to start with all line, then go to uh, Quint, DeHaven, then me. We got the Bears against the Commanders. Thursday night football. The Bears. Uh, Commanders. 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 Jazz Bills. Bill. I'm I'm gonna say the Jags on this one. I'm gonna say the Bills. You know what? I'm gonna say the Jazz too. Um uh, Titan Coats. Oof. I got Titans. Put them Colts. I got the Colts. I'm a fanboy. I got the Colts. Fanboy. <laughs> I got the Titans. I got I got the Titans. Saints Patriots. Oh. I got the uh Sorry, it's all on turn. You wait. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, got <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. I knew you were going to do it. Oh, yeah, I got the Saints, man. Bill Belichick out of there. You said you got the Saints all on? I got the Saints. Okay. Saints. Saints versus who? Patriots. I got the Saints. Clean slate. I got the Saints. Ravens, Steelers. The Ravens. 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 If Kenny Pickett is starting, Ravens. <laughs> Even if he ain't starting, they 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 they're another team that need a quarterback. Because Kenny Pickett is just ain't that guy. Uh Tensons, Falcons. In the great state of Georgia. Texas. Oh, I need Texas. to buy my tickets. I need to buy my tickets. Texas. Don't do it, bro. Come on. Who you got? I got them dirty birds. Call me Julio. Oh, hell no. Soon as the plug come, we make you Julio. <laughs> Sign nice. <laughs> Uh, Panthers, Lions, 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 Lions. 
Said who? Lions. Lions clean slate again. Giants, Dolphins. 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 Bengals, Cardinals. I'm surprisingly, this is an ugly game. Only because of Joe Burrow's injury. All right. Cardinals. I think the Bengals are going to pull this one out. Burrow playing. If he play, more than likely he's going to play. I got the, uh, man. I think they're going to pull it. I got the Bengals. I got the Bengals. i am rock with them. I'm rocking with the Bengals. I think it's Eagles on. Rams. Ah, uh, man, that's a good one. Eagles. 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 Jets. Broncos. Ooh. Shoot. Jets. Jets. Yeah. They got the J E T E S Jets. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Broncos. No, you added an S on there. You ain't supposed to add no S. It's supposed to be J E T E Jets. Jets, Jets, Jets. But <laughs> you know what, man? I forgot they were talking. It was like the right. one of the big right. games. I'm going with Robert Sala and them boys, man. I'm going with Robert Sala. Only because that defense, the Broncos defense, I thought was going to be the Broncos defense, but nah, nah, I can't put that defense on Russell Wilson. Yeah, he about to fold. Hmm. So, every what did everybody say on this one, my fault. You know what? I recant my statement. I said, I said Jets. All right. You said Jets. All on what you said, Jets. Nah, nah I'm still, I don't know. I don't know. You got a pit, sir. Quick hits. <laughs> Quick Bron- pits. Broncos. I'm going to stick with the Broncos this time. You going to stick with who? I'm going to stick with the Broncos. Okay. Chiefs, Vikings. Oh. Chiefs. Mm. Um, Vikings. I got the Vikings. I'm going with Patty Mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay. And then the good old my favorite of all the night games, Sunday night football. Ain't nothing like it. We got the Cowgirls versus the 49ers. 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 I got the Cowboys. I'm going with unfortunately them Dallas Cowboys. Oh no. Yeah, I'm going with them. That defense about to about to then the legendary about to the ball ball out. Not on not on Michael that defense. Parsons coming off that court. He ain't lying. Mike Parsons about to eat him up. Unless he and if him and Trent uh Williams lined up, but that's like iron sharpening iron right there, boy. It's gonna yep. be a great matchup. But if not <laughs> That's me swing going past the offensive line. <laughs> we gonna but, see. Uh, <laughs> Michael Parsons, bad boy, for real. Dog, he gonna swim dog. straight through the mud. Good old Monday night football. We got the Packers in the rain. <laughs> I'm going to pack Somebody last week wanted to try to correct me. It's saying it's not the Oakland Raiders. I understand it's not the Oakland Raiders, so I'm just going to say the Raiders. I got the Packers. Um, yeah, I got, I got, yeah, I got the Packers. I got the Packers. I'm going out on the limb. The Packers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, all right, man. This is another <laughs> subject, man, I want to talk about. I had to make some change because um, I don't know how I messed that up. But I, I don't want to spend too much, spend long on this one because all of us went to a HBCU. 
We already know which one is the best. Tuskegee. But hey, man, there's no here, no there. But it's just only thing I want to talk about on this subject. And everybody else can uh, speak how they want to speak on it. I love Prime. I love Alabama football. That's it. But we got to stop just because at these PWIs, man, stop thinking just because folks think it got an HBCU vibe just because Oh, a party, a black party is lit because that is far from what an HBCU is. And it's so many factors that come to like being at an HBCU. And we all know that because we all been a part of that. So mm-hmm. I just need folks that went to Alabama, Troy, UCF, wherever you went to school at, Texas. Auburn or whatever, and talking about oh, my school felt like this, and it felt like an HBCU vibe. No, it did not. Just because you said you grew up on that or whatever, you should know the difference, (laughs) especially if you grew up on it. Don't ever disrespect your ancestors by saying no dumb shit like that ever in life. (laughs) Ever. Right. Please stop that. Please stop. That has nothing to do with nothing. You go to a PWI, enjoy your PWI. If you had a scholarship there, that's cool. If you want to join a D9 uh, organization there, that's cool too. Nobody going to look at you lesser that you did any of that. But please, for the love of God, stop saying PWIs that you these PWIs that you go to have a HBCU feel only because majority of your answer is gonna be because this party was lit. I said my piece on that. I'm done with it. You guys have the floor. So I feel like you can't really <clears throat> capture you can't really have a real opinion on HBCUs until you go there. You know what I mean? Right. And the thing about an HBCU that a lot of people don't kind of kind of understand is that an HBCU, the atmosphere is so different because rarely will you get that many African American professionals, um, educated people, uh, scholars, and 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 those alike all together in one place sharing and partaking in different ideas and in theories and whatnot you Preach. will never really get that anywhere else in the world you know what i mean Preach. unless you're going to africa, unless you're in africa but in america you're not really going to get that and so you can't get that feel anywhere and i've been to a pwi i've been to two pwis and I've been to an HBC. I don't care if they get a rap for homecoming. I don't care if they have like the blackest of all parties. It's different. And you won't know until you go. You won't know until you mm-hmm. go. It's it's a huge misinterpretation for sure. Cause the thing about it, a lot of a lot of students that attend a PWI that let's say for instance, Ar- Arbor. Our urban black students come to te- come down to Tuskegee to enjoy the party and the festivities. They like, oh, well, should we do that up here? This this kind of feel the same way. It's not. It's not. It's not the same way. You only get a glimpse, <laughs> a glimpse of what HBCU life is all about. To be honest with you, just like from from the professors to the to the student life to the to the greek organizations to everything that's involved or embodied on campus you're not going to get that at a pwi you might get a glimpse of it but you're not going to get the full interpretation of what hbcu brings to the table like even like i was saying like even the professors professors at hbcu 
it's a mindset thing. They they train you that you have to, as a black individual, work 10 times as harder than our counterparts. They're not going to let you slack. They're not going to let you do this, that, and the third. You got to be with it or not. And, and, the, and the PWI, and I, I actually took some courses at a PWI. I, I took courses at uh, UNA, University of North Alabama. And the professors, are, the professors there, the mindset is way different. You could tell. You can just tell. And the whole the culture, the dynamic, everything is just different. I'm, I don't know how you can sit up and say <laughs> that that's even equivalent. Like, it's not. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't even know who. I, I think I seen somebody on Facebook mention Troy said something about Troy being like a HBCU, and they well, they it. said it felt like a HBCU. It had an oh. HBCU feeling, and mm. that's the whole reason I I was like, bro, I thought I didn't even know it was gonna go as far as it was. Like with other folks agreeing with that, especially folks that we grew up with in Tuskegee, yeah. and I was yeah. like. Bro, no, it is not. I don't care what uh black student union you went to yeah. or the blackest of the blackest party, the Q phone party, or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, bro, this is we we are not the same. We are not I, the same, bro. I challenge all those black students who went to Troy to tell me their experience on the night Obama got elected for the first time and tell me if that was anything close to my experience at Tuskegee when that man got elected, the whole school on the yard, the DJs going, people pull up the cars. Uh, Nas had released, Nas and uh, GZ had the song, President of the Black. I'm talking about playing all night, bro. Owner of the soul, owner of, of Extreme came out, everybody free. Go to class the next morning, teachers said class, canceled and we just had like these big you know talks about how we progress as african americans ain't no way that y'all had that type of experience y'all even got to feel that type of pride and camaraderie where the whole school was involved and celebrated this one black man achieving this feat that no black man had a chance to achieve before and that embodies like the true essence of the hbcu experience Mm -hmm. beyond the parties and clubs and stuff like that and i i you you couldn't feel that anywhere else and you're not supposed to you're not supposed to that was that was us that was our thing you know what i mean it was about a fourth of them it was about a fourth of them yeah that's it we couldn't even go to auburn because they they were riding in auburn i know it the other way they were they were upset you remember all the racial slurs, like mm-hmm. how you let a monkey in the White House and yada yep. yada. And, man, we couldn't even go there. It ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no that's way. The thing, bro. That's why I say, I, that's why I try to make it very, very clear. Um, and and of course, you get stupid MFs that say stupid stuff like this. When I say, like, you cheer for uh, Alabama foot. Well, you love Alabama or whatnot, and they was the last school to um, let uh, black students in or whatnot. I'm just like, bro, I like the football team. I don't care nothing about the school, but when you say stupid stuff like uh, they're more racist than us, what does that make any sense? Like, oh, that doesn't make zero sense to me. Like, bro, I think you're like super slow. If you even just say something stupid like that, so they more uh, racist than what? Like they say, uh, for example, Auburn is more racist than uh, I mean, Alabama's more racist than Auburn. It I'm like, it, it doesn't matter, bro. They're still racist. What? What does it matter? <laughs> That's almost like uh, like a house Negro and a field Negro. That's basically how you sounding right now. Oh, we getting pretty good up here. We we we, we eat them scraps. We eat the scraps, y'all. Y'all sit outside in the ball. Like, bro, stop. I just I just want 
I just like, bro, you can enjoy uh, everything about your school. I'm not the one that be like, oh, man, you need to take your butt to an HBCU. I always say go where they paying for it, where mm -hmm. you don't have to be in no debt or whatnot. It would be nice that you go to an HBCU, but, hey, man, education is education. Go where they paying for it if you can go. But stop. Please stop saying that we had the same experience because we did not. Because I guarantee you, you comparing, you can, I can promise you somebody in Hampton, Clark Atlanta, Howard, Bethune, Cookman, fam, all these places will understand exactly what we're saying. But I guarantee if you talk about your black experience at a uh, PWI, and all you just talk about is partying, they gonna look at you like, bro, mm -hmm. stop. It ain't nothing. Listen, I live out here in Denver, right? And it's a lot of black individuals out here who went to Prairie View and who went to Texas Southern. When we introduce each other and speak to each other, it's like we came from the same clause because we understand what a HBCU world looks like. I can't have that same conversation with someone who went to a PWI. Neither, neither can you all. You can't, you can't share that same experience or say we've been here, we've been there, there, we did this. You can't say that. These boys, these boys up here, Texas Southern Prairie View, I'm closer to them than anybody else. Just because we have that same background, that same lifestyle that we live for them four to four to six years or even more depending on yeah, that's some two uh h child hbcus man yeah yeah i love prayer view man shout out to pv yeah i like prayer view too i i actually got a scholarship to them man but i took summer courses there when i was in high school it was it was pretty dope experience man Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I love well, Prairie View. So well, before we get off of it, because I think I think we said enough for we said <laughs> enough for the Haven to uh, just he ain't gotta say nothing on it. That what it sound like. <laughs> but uh, or do you want to say something? Uh, I mean, pretty much, bro. I agree with all of y'all, man. I I don't want to speak too much on it because I already. That's how I feel, man. Y'all kind of took the words out of my mouth, bro. Like, uh, you know, you can't really to 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 think that you can get the same type of feel <laughs> at a PWI that you can get at a, a HBCU is nonsense. And it's vice versa, man. You know, I can't get a PWI feel unless I go to one. You know what I'm saying? I won't get that experience unless yeah. I actually enroll in one. And uh, even me going there to check out their parties and me checking out their culture for a little bit, that's still not the experience. You know what I'm saying? I'm still not going to be able to grasp the experience I'm not, until I sit into the, in the classes and I, and I go and actually, you know, become a part of, like, you know what I'm saying, that culture the real way, you know what I'm saying, as far as enrolling and taking classes and, you know what I'm saying, soaking it all up. I'll never be able to... Uh, actually say I got that PW experience. Like, I actually want to go, if I was to ever enroll at a PWI, the only one that I really wanted to go to uh, would be U of H. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of guys who graduated from U of H, none of them cats, even as close as TSU was to U of H was right across the street. So it's like, nobody ever was like, I got the HBCU experience. You know what I'm saying? From graduating at U of H just because yeah. TSU was directly across the street. But they were able to get, you know, more so than, you know, other schools. You know what I'm saying? Because they were so close. But nobody's ever talked like that. You know what I'm saying? No U of H grads that I know have ever uh, spoke like that. But it's just silly to, like, have that mentality, man. So, you know, I'm with you guys on it. Like, I feel like until you enroll uh, on both sides, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you will never fully grasp uh, the culture. You will never understand the culture, either one, unless you, you've gone to both. 
So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Before we um land this one, because I know we got two more. One of them is super quick. Because I just, I just have to talk about it. They 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 made sure I had to talk about this one, but uh, I want everybody to like quickly, uh, cause pretty much we all went to ski, but uh, Quint started off at uh, and and graduated, and then came down to ski and did it there too. But name outside of the school, well well for me, Arlon and DeHaven. Uh, besides Tuskegee and you too, Quint, uh, name three schools, well, HBCUs, because that's all the thing I applied to except one. So I'm going to go last. I'm going to explain that story. But uh, I don't know. Um, name three HBCUs that you would have went to besides Tuskegee. You can start um, with all line. I would have went to uh, Hampton, Howard, or uh, fam, or fam you. Um, I didn't apply to any of them. I actually only applied to uh, one college, that was Tuskegee. Um, but if I if I could have gone to another HBCU, one of those three. My brother ended up going to Hampton. My uh, first cousin went to fam. And my uncle went to Howard. So I would have won one of those three. Yeah. Anyone? Uh, Prayer View, Bam you, or Clark? Why those three? Actually, take that back. Not Clark. Actually, I I just be honest. It would be it would have been Prayer View. Are are we naming schools that we did apply to, or we could have applied nah, to? Nah, just any any school you want to go to. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I would have said PV, FAMU, and, um, man, bro, uh, I really didn't want to go to Southern, but I, it was like a, a family thing. Yeah. So oh. I would have said, yeah, Southern. Southern. What about you, bro? I think Brinsky just dropped out, but, uh. Let's see. My number one, to be honest with you, if they would have paid me full ride, I would have went was Prayer View. I would have yeah. went. To, I would have went to Prayer View. Um, just because nobody, nobody in Alabama. I'm from Tuskegee, so nobody in Alabama would even think to go to Texas, and I always wanted to go to Texas, so I would have definitely went to Prayer View. The second school. Was definitely was definitely uh, Howard. I just like mm -hmm. the whole DMV area. Um, it's real nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of things to do out there, and then there's a lot of culture out there, African American history and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I definitely wanted to go up there. And then I hate to say it, but my last school would have been uh, NCAT, North Carolina NT. I, I would have went to NCAT. <laughs> Yeah, just How because, huh? Oh, my bad. Not nah, keep going. No, nah, I was saying just because, um, you know, I'm KK side, Zeta Five, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, just just because, um, I like their band and they're one of the largest HBCUs, um, mm -hmm. they are, and um. Yeah, I just want I, I wanted to see what it was like. I actually went to one day homecomings and it was like, hey, it, it was a really good homecoming. Yeah, the chapter pretty cool too. Um mm -hmm. when me and Akeem were living in North Carolina, um, we used to get up with the uh KK side TBS chapter in Cat pretty often. Uh, what, how did y'all how did y'all get into uh how did y'all get to Tuskegee? Like what made y'all choose Tuskegee out of all these other HBCUs? Yeah? Well, well, I went there for grad school, man. I, I just, right. I, I didn't, I didn't want to go there for undergrad because, to be honest, for me, it was too close to home, right there, at home, mm -hmm. and I lived like down the street from it, on off of Auburn Street, and uh, shout I, out to Auburn Street, yeah, Auburn right. Street, yep. 
And so I I really just didn't want to be that close. And then number two, they were they were really expensive. <laughs> and and then and then uh you know once you go to Teske, even though you at BTW, you know everybody at Teske. Because I ain't gonna lie, I was in I was in high school talking to freshmen at Teske. So it was like you know everybody at, at Teske. What about you? Oh, uh, I, I didn't. Uh, first off, my mama didn't want me actually staying that close to home. I wanted to go to HBCU. So Prairie View in Texas Southern was like all the way off the list. You know what I'm saying? And then I already got my text to PV. You know what I'm saying? So my mama was not feeling that. <laughs> uh, then um, you know, I had some family. Well, my, my grandmother always wanted to go to Tuskegee. You know what I'm saying? And she's from Birmingham and all that. So uh, it kind of was like on my radar. And I went behind my mama back and applied and ended up getting accepted and getting my uh, scholarship letter and all that. So I wanted to get out of Texas, man. I, I thought, uh, and I had some family out here in Alabama, well, out there in Alabama. So for me, it was uh, it was cool when I, when I took my first visit, fell in love with the campus, I remember uh, Dr. Sellers uh, on the second visit. I remember she was just talking to us, man. It just felt like home, and I was like, "I gotta go here. Like this is uh, this is it for me." No, that's dope. I um, <clears throat> I actually wasn't gonna go to college after after high school, um, but I ended up getting a tennis scholarship, and t- it was from Tuskegee. And so that's how that's how I got there. I never visited the, the campus, nothing. My very first time going to Tuskegee when I was going to move into my dorm. And um, bro, I just I just fell in love with the place. And I thought about uh going to Morehouse, uh transforming to Morehouse because it's close to home from Georgia, but the Tuskegee was where it was at, man. Mm-hmm. And uh bro, I, I tell I tell black people all the time, if you trying to now my cousin's there now, but I tell black people all the time, like, hey, if you ever have any time, like just to go, just just go. Just just get a feel of it. Go during a football season, like around the fall time, like uh October, November ish, catch a catch a game. It's just it's just an amazing place to be with the culture, the environment, the history. <laughs> It's 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 dope, man. It's an experience like I, I it's just hard to put in the words, to be honest. So yeah. Well, sorry, y'all. My uh thing was acting up again, so I think I need to update the computer. I had to turn it off and turn it back on. But shout out to y'all for being great professionals. Uh, I didn't catch uh, I think I caught uh all of our lines. Uh, HBC. What you say, Dave? I mean, pretty much, you know, I have family. No, uh, no, my no, no. What, was the three, what was the three schools? Oh, three schools. Um, Prairie View, uh, Southern, and FAMU. What about you, Quint? Uh, mine was uh, Prairie View, uh, Howard, and NCAT. For mine... Yeah, I don't know, bro. Shout out to the college tours, bro. The college tours are like one of the most underrated things <laughs> to go on, bro. Because I'm talking about, bro, I had a ball, bro, on that thing, bro. I wanted to go to Tennessee uh, State only because, bro, well, after visiting Canberra, I just had too much fun, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was one of the funnest ones. Um, I applied to Howard on, and I'm gonna be God on the truth. The only reason I had a scholarship there is because of my aunt. that was the only reason why. And she uh plugged me in right there. Mm-hmm. And uh, the last one it was really between uh, because mainly it was gonna be uh, Howard, but it's a story why I ended up going uh, Tuskegee, but uh. But um, what I said, Tennessee State, Howard, and the other one was Hampton because my other aunt uh, stayed down there. 
But that last one, bro, I really, really thought about it so bad. I like, bro, Southern, I just, mm -hmm. that was another one on that college trip, bro. That yeah. thing was too fun, boy. <laughs> I yeah, can't get up to you, boy. It was fun. Speaking of Tennessee State, my, I feel old now. My my sister is a sophomore at Tennessee State University, and she loves I it. Bet she having a ball. <laughs> she is having a ball up there, man. But the only reason I stayed close to home and just real short shoot, uh, cause I was like, I had my mindset like on Howard and everything, cause uh my aunt was up there, and like my older cousin uh went there. Well, one of them went to uh, Bowie, but I didn't even know what uh, Bowie was at the time. I was like, that was like, you know how you get them few HBCUs you didn't know about. Uh -huh. but that was one of them. But uh, hmm. Bowie State. But uh, my grandma was sick. That was the only reason why I stayed around. But that right. was an awesome decision. I'm yeah. glad I did. I'm so glad I did it. Yeah. Uh, got to know. Of course, these three Nickham poops, and <laughs> the rest is his history. <laughs> now, well, we've been on each other, boy. Yeah, but uh, middle school, boy. Hold on, say that again. I said we've been on each other, middle school, elementary. Oh, middle. oh yeah, man. Uh, that why I said way, way too long. That was said way, way <laughs> too long. <laughs> That's why I say shout out to uh, Auburn Street. He was like down the street type stuff. <laughs> you on yep. Maribel so and I'm right basically around the corner. I, I, you know what? Also with Tennessee State, man, it was at one point a lot of people were going to Tennessee State, but they was reneging on scholarships. And they were reneging on scholarships. That was two. That was two thousand nine. That was two thousand nine. A lot of band students went up there. Mm -hmm. I want to say about it was about a hundred and twelve band students. Sixty of them had to go home. Okay. Yes. Well, shoot, I forgot what was. Well, I said the reason why I go on uh, Tuskegee. This one is going to be very, very quickly, and then we got to get to that last one, then we out of here. All right. This one was uh, – I ain't even going to put a uh, put a uh, ban on it. Well, I'm going to do it real quick. NBA Media Day. And we just talk about this one real quick, and there's only one reason why I'm trying to talk about it. <laughs> Jimmy Buck. Butler, bro. <laughs> bro, what is cuz on, oh, bro? I, I seen that, bro, and I was <laughs> like, bro, you are wildly, my guy. And I'm like, bro, I like, bro, you should, he's like, crazy. It's for do it every year, bro. It's for no, attention. Bro, it's for attention. Man. He did the locks last it's year. I ain't think nobody he was gonna top the locks, but it. the Pierce and all that. Some telling me the Pierce is a fake, but man, buddy is tripping. I just wanted to get that off, and so we can get to the last <laughs> one. But buddy is tripping. He emo. We'll talk about basketball. Emo. Probably He's one of emo. Them, but he tripping. He emo. <laughs> yeah, buddy tripping. Well, shoot. Yeah, I guess I said enough for everybody. But shoot. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, he just. I ain't see it that bad. I mean, he just straightened his head, and uh, he always just some like weirdo shit. He right do some weird stuff, stuff bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just grabbed attention. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. But I, hey, listen, he had them them locks last time and made it to the uh, finals. So, <laughs> hey, man, but he got a lot of He got the locks in. So we don't know. <laughs> this might take him all the way. <laughs> Niggas get a million dollars and get bored, bro. That's really all this is, bro. You yeah. making a couple of M's and get bored. Okay, yeah. get a, give me a couple of M's. I won't be bored. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing like I've that. I always have something to do. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Buddy wild for that. Last topic of the night. Top five sports movies. It can be whatever you want it to be. Or whatnot. It ain't even got to be in order. I just want to see 
how many of <laughs> us are going to just say some of the same movie? I I think one in particular. Yeah, one right, we all think the same one. We yeah. all think any given Sunday. Yeah. Uh, remember you got your time, brother. Nah, you got your nah, time. Nah, you start with our line, then Quint, then you, then me. Just give me your top five. Uh, our line, then we'll just brother, go from there. The one we all think about is remember the Titans. That's number yep. one. Yeah, that's number one. Yep. Number two, white man can't jump. That has to be your number two. Number three, uh, I'm gonna pick a glory road number three glory road number four i don't want to do basketball anymore yeah you know what? i'm gonna do a basketball number four i'm gonna do pride the swimming movie number five space jam now what you shake your head for bro i'm just saying Space Jam is a no. Cultural... I'm not shaking my head at Space Jam. What you what Pride? We, we, I talk Pride, the swimming movie, bro. What you got against swimmers? I don't have nothing against uh, swimming, but just saying it's like one of the best sports movies ever. It's like it, nope. it, bro, it, had, it has racial significance. That's bro, what I mostly think. all of them have racial significance. <laughs> which one? Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Pride, pride. I was, hey, pride is a good movie, bro, but it's not. It it is not top five. Okay, so what you? What you, let me see what you. That's why it's your top five. five. That's why it's your. Uh, I can't see say top, what your top, top five. It's Quint's turn, or uh, unless he need uh, time, then the Haven can go. Yeah, let the Haven go. Oh, he mute. His body is real bad. I got he got game. Friday night lights. Mm. I got uh mm. damn it, third. It was just it was just with me, man. I said hoop dreams, right? Nah. Nah. Yeah, hoop dreams in third. I got uh hey <laughs> girl, chill out. Um, I don't want to be cliche and say this, but yeah, I give Remember the Titans its respect. Uh, and my last one, bro, trying to think here. White man can't jump for the, uh, the culture. Actually, no, you know what? I know what it is. What's the one pot above the rim? Huh. I'm gonna go with above the rim. All right, Quinn, what you got for me? I don't want All this right. thing to freeze up over me. All right, I got uh remember the Titans. I got above the rim. I got Judy. Uh the hell is Judy? You don't remember Judy? You don't remember Judy? Who the hell is Judy? <laughs> you don't what remember Judy? Judy? What is Judy, dude? I don't I, know what Judy. Uh, Judy. Judy is about the dude who tried out for Notre, Notre Dame. That's Rudy. Rudy, yeah, Rudy. My bad. <laughs> like Judy, who? I thought you. I thought you. Yeah, hey. I, I, I should have been man, saying Rudy. Man, off the Rudy. I would have been like, okay, I figured you were talking about Rudy, yeah, but Rudy, I was Rudy. like, man, I don't know what no Judy is. <laughs> uh, my bad. So, uh, you Rudy good, you Titans, good. Uh, Rim, uh, Rudy, um, he got game, and I like this one. This is my favorite, along with y'all. That Which one, the original one or the Adam Sandler one? I, you know, I like the Adam Sandler one, but mm. the original one was straight too. Who? I'm waiting to hear yours, uh, Brinsky. So I can, I got two, I got two I want to add in. Is is some honorable <laughs> yeah, mentions. Brinsky, yours better be good. Doc. I got Space Jam with the best mm. 
hands down the best soundtrack. Oh, for sure. Ever yeah. for yeah. a sports movie. Yeah. And I'm really I'm willing to die on that here. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I, the Titans. Mm-hmm. Coach Carter. Yeah. White man can't jump. And still one of my favorite uh baseball movies ever is Major Leagues. I mean Charlie Sheen and uh Wesley Snipes and them. But honorable uh, mention. Uh um only reason I matter of fact. Let me tell you my two. I, I want I want to put major leagues as honorable mention and change it out for uh he got game because yeah. hey man. I talked to he got game, I called it. Jesus, Jesus, hey. Jesus shutters work, baby. Jesus, my honorable oh, mention. I'm, I'm gonna get this off, then I'm done. Then I'll right. let y'all have it. Spike Lee did his thing with that movie, man. Just oh, fashion, yeah. bro. It was just like everything, like just 90s, bro. Yeah. And it's basically like how I think, like, uh, when Ray Allen went to go visit the schools, bro, I still believe that goes on to this day. I think that's like the most timeless part, especially the gold digging girlfriend. They ain't gonna never go away and stuff like that. And just like, bro, that's a timeless movie, bro. Man, you know I like uh, shout out to Spike Lee. I like Blue Chips is my honorable mention. The program gets an honorable mention. Uh, Super underrated movie. The program, Sandlot for show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Nineteen Avenue. Yeah, I, I got Sandlot too. I'm sorry. I, I got to add Sandlot. Hey, I, I got one honorable mention, man. Yeah, that's not honorable mention, bro. Sandlot is in there for time. Yeah, Sandlot, but uh, King Richard. Mm. Mm, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> my uh, well, Britsky pretty much copied my whole uh, list, but. Uh, my honorable mention was uh, the Rocky movies. I like those. Yeah, God, yeah. so many, so many good yeah. ones. Yeah, but that, bro, bro, sports. No, no, I'm just saying, though. like that was a great one. I don't know why we forgot that. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. So, does uh? Yeah, really? Does Air count as a sports movie? I mean, I know that they didn't really play too much sports in there, but what did that one count as a sports movie? Air, the, uh, the Jordan about the Jordan shoes, bro. That is not Air, nah. That, I mean, that wasn't no really. They ain't really show it for real. They was just sports movie. movie. Yeah, they I ain't think really. Glory Glory Road was another good one. Which comment is a good one? Forty two. Mm. Forty two. Did y'all watch it? Uh, Jackie Robinson movie. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That was a good one. Did y'all watch the bronze uh his uh basketball movie more than a game? I ain't like seen it yet. I ain't seen it yet. You ain't never seen yeah. more than a game? I ain't seen it's it yet. One. It's a documentary. It, it came yeah. out like when we was in college. No, 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 not the doc, but the movie. Not the movie. The movie. I, I know what you're talking about. Oh. Yeah, no, you talking about uh, shooting? You talking about uh, shooting star? Uh, yeah, I guess it's a yeah. shooting star, shooting star, shooting star. Yeah, that was actually good. That was really good. I wish it was like a mini series. I thought that's what it was going to be. Hmm. And I wish it was. Yeah, but, those are to me those are the best sports movies out that came out. Yeah. In my life now one of these now one of these uh days because i know we approaching that two hour mark oh go ahead go ahead i got one more man hey i ain't gonna, i thought this was a good one invincible hmm. who in that what made me not want to watch that is I, I found out. Oh, you talking about with uh, morgan freeman in there no nah, with mark Wahlberg. Nah, mark Wahlberg. I'm mark Wahlberg. And Morgan Freeman was Morgan Freeman. No, Invisible was uh the one where he was uh the uh, Philadelphia player. Yeah, Invincible. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of that rugby movie. And I'm I'm getting Mark Wahlberg confused with uh Matt Damon. Oh yeah, yeah. 
But that was a good one too, though. I can tell you the worst right now, and it should never been made. And I don't know why I spent my time watching it. Uh, it was called like baseball or bas. It's like two white. Oh, dudes. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, true. Man, yeah. about to do yeah. from South Park, yeah. man. You should yeah. know yeah. basketball. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, hey, thank yeah. God they made South Park because that was garbage. Yeah, it was garbage. That was what trash. did y'all like, Coach? Car- I mean, did y'all like uh the Carter movie, Dallas Carter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, love. Yeah. Well, it, it, I don't it was think I seen that one. I love it was the a true story. I love the documentary more. I, I yeah, like yeah. The, the Express. I didn't see Express. It was a good one. Yeah, what, Express was good. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, y'all already know how much I appreciate you for well, always, well, at least trying to uh, come up here and uh, give you perspectives. Even though some of them are outrageous, but we enjoy them or whatnot. I just want to say shout out to our future sponsors. I just want to give them a shout out early. We we I'm I'm willing. The phone you can just call anytime. We'll take anything. Manscaped, <laughs> Tease Hanley, all these good people. <laughs> We, we, we'll take them off, but thank you guys, as always, for uh, helping me out with this. I definitely appreciate you guys, and, hey, I and I want to uh, really just take this guy off the screen. Hey, right hey, now. Boy, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're back at it. We're back hey. at it next week. With them and them shirts. With the AM shirts, and I will either the shirt or the hat, either, either way. One, but I'm gonna be wearing it all week long. I'm not all week long, the uh, whole show. There so I bet it's a bet, <coughs> but I want to say shout out to them boys right there. Yeah, for the right there. Hey, shout out to them boys who stole three points. <laughs> yeah, shout out to them boys. <laughs> <laughs> and as always as always and forever in a day because they got to get love Tuskegee is always first but hook them horns roll tide no.